Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I just want to look at uh, problems and contradictions in the Quran. You can get this article by www.rim.org Muslim Quran Problems. Or you can Google a partial list of problems and contradictions in the Quran PDF. Uh, my name is Jason and uh, my website is jasonbirdspreacher.com and uh, I'm just going to share with you seven, uh, eight problems in the Quran. Uh, number one, <clears throat> creation. The biblical Genesis account says God created all in six days. Genesis 1, 1, 2, 2. The Quran web has a real problem. In Surah 41, 9, 10 and 12, the creations have a total of eight days of creation, which is um, days of creation 4 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8 meanwhile surah 10 3 gives the total number of days of creation a 6 this is a problem of self-contradiction pharaoh according to the quran surah 7 120 to 125 pharaoh used crucifixion in dealing with the sorcerers a practice which historical evidence gives no precedent to before the babylonian empire this is once again a problem of historical compression 3. The Golden Calf. According to the Quran, Surah 29, 100, Samaritans helped the Israelites build the Golden Calf and it moved after coming out of the fire. In reality, Samaritans did, did not exist as people until at least 1,000 years after the time of Moses and the Israelite exodus from Egypt. Again, a problem of historical compression. Judaism. According to the Quran, Surah 930, the Jews believe that Ezra is the Son of God, the Messiah. This never has been a tenant of Judaism. This is a clear problem of distorted knowledge of other religions and historical fact. Alexander the Great, according to the Quran, Surah 18, 89, 98, Alexander the Great was a devout Muslim and lived a ripe old age. Historical records will ever show that Alexander the Great died young at 33 years of age, 35 BC to 323 BC, and believed he was divine, forcing others to recognize him as such. In India, on the High Passis River, now beats Alexander erected 12 altars to 12 Olympian gods. Once again, the Quran shows errors in historical and religious fact. 6. The Trinity. According to the Quran, Surah 5, 1, 11, 16, 5, 73, 75, the Christians believe in three gods, Father, Mother and Son. This shows the influence of heretical Christian sects in Central Arabia at the time of Muhammad. In contrast, Christianity has always distinctly stated that the Trinity is the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. The teaching of the Quran and the Trinity has undoubtedly led to confusion among many Muslims on the Bible and thus Christianity teaches about the Triune God. Mary, according to Quran Surah 1928 and uh, Surah 333 36, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was the daughter of Imran or Amran, the father of Moses and Aaron. Mary is also said to be the sister of Moses and Aaron. Clearly, Muhammad confused Mary with Miriam. A second interesting point about Mary is the story of the dead palm speaking and offering its fruit to her in Surah 1923. This legend is easily traced to similar legends found in the apocryphal proto evangelion of James and the pseudo Matthew and the Gospel of the Nativity of Mary, all of which have been dated to the 4th and 6th century and were again believed to by the sects found in Arabia. More in-depth confirmation on Quranic sources may be found in R. W. S. T. Clare, Tidstill, The Religion of the Crescent. Textual variants of the Quran. Many Muslims claim that the Quran today is identical to the revelations received by Muhammad. However, there is overwhelming unanswered evidence to the contrary. This includes evidence of variation both prior and to Ahmad. How do we view and respond to these unresolved problems of logic, history and religious knowledge? So that's an article, a partial list of problems and contradictions of the Quran. So there's some really simple but easy things to think about from a Muslim point of view to answer those questions about the Quran. I just throw them out to you as a Muslim to answer the question concerning um, 
concerning uh, the Quran. Are, are there these historical and uh, textual problems within the Quran that have just been mentioned or not? What do you think? And, uh, you know, if you want a discussion with me, you can uh, get in contact with me and email me on my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Like I said, I, I, I'm giving it out because I believe that Jesus is the truth, the way, and I'm doing Dawah for Christianity. I don't want to be offensive to any Muslim. I, I just believe that what I'm reading and, 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 and saying is correct. I don't mean any uh, disrespect to Muslims. But I believe that the Bible is the Word of God. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that He died and rose again. And that's what I believe. And I believe that the Quran is not the Word of God. And I believe that these eight problems you need to answer as a Muslim. And um, so please don't be offended. I'm only sharing Dawah from my perspective as a Christian. And sharing the Gospel of Jesus Christ who died on a cross, shed His blood for you. It says... For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And Christ died on that cross and shed his blood for our sin. And I trust that you'll find peace and salvation in Jesus Christ. God bless you and thank you for listening. Take care.